Bonjour. No, no, I don't like that. Let's start again. Morning. Sorry, I have no idea what possessed me to even do that. I start these videos the same way every day. Why do I mess about? Why is my eye going weird? Yeah, there we go. <gasps> I'm getting freaked out. I have just heard the strangest noise coming from the trees. You know the film Predator? Well, you know the like the noise that Predator makes? I have just heard that coming from the trees right above me. I don't like this. I don't want to be attacked by a predator. I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't have a chopper to get to. I don't know why I'm looking in trees. <laughs> so yeah, from looking on Facebook, the uh, Robin Williams story has literally exploded. So many people have been touched by this bloke at various ages as well. You know, because I've got like, friends on there that are older than me. Friends on there that are younger than me. And uh, they've like the whole generation gap is talking about it. It is a sad loss. But I think what's more important is that it's kind of bringing the issue of unseen illness to people's attention. That obviously details are still coming out, but it is looking like suicide thanks to his depression. And he was in rehab apparently a few weeks ago. I think it's finally a big enough case to highlight stuff like uh, depression, anxiety and schizophrenia, bipolar, all them kind of things. And then to some degree stuff like what Danny's got, like fibromyalgia and lupus and all them kind of things. That just because somebody looks fine on the surface, don't mean they are. I think that's, that's an important issue. And as, as much, as sad as it is, shall I say, that we have lost such a great actor, comedian and just all round human being. If one good thing can come from this tragedy, then that's something to kind of hold on to. Because it's about time on seeing illnesses starting getting the kind of recognition that they need. I'm probably talking crap. I'm sorry guys. I uh, it's just kind of what's running through my head this morning. From uh, just having a quick scan of a Facebook as I posted today's the link to today's video on there for people. Oh, I'll shut up. Daft you. Not enough. Come on in. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Alright, I'd better uh, head off to work. We went up the street earlier to go to the shop where we get his e cig stuff from to try and get, like, Danny needed a new top for hers and I need a new coil for inside of mine. And they didn't have any again. Like, waiting on a big order to come in apparently. So we had to go to the petrol station and I now have a bright yellow one. Well, we both have bright yellow ones. It don't feel right, it's not as heavy as normal. It feels weird in my hand. Do not enjoy. But yeah, I should probably head to work now. So I will uh, see you when I get to work. Good God, that wind's got up. Well, it ain't for most of the way. It would only when uh, I actually reached the roundabout I brought down on last week the, the wind really picked up but it was that bad it was like throwing me across the road fortunately by that point I was nearly at the end of my journey so. 
not far to go after that. Anyway, I'm here now. So, uh, I'm gonna go and get myself a cup of tea. Yeah, predictable, aren't I? I just stopped off at Asda on my way home. Get some, uh, get something for tea. Cause Danny's not eating tonight, and all we've got in is kind of like enough for two. So sorry if it's windy, by the way. Can't really be helped, you know. It's a bit windy. Still suffering after effects of Bertha. But uh, yeah, what we've got in, it's kind of meals we'd have to make for two. There's not really stuff that you can half. So I thought I'll get me send something to eight, and then uh, hopefully she's eating tomorrow. Yeah, work went too bad tonight, only two of us though again. But hopefully for the next couple of days there's three of us and then I'm off Friday so who cares? <laughs> nah I do but it's yeah. At least said about work the better I suppose right now. Anyway, I'm gonna head home. Alright guys, so I did not realise what time it was. It's like three in the morning and I haven't even filmed anything since getting in from Asda after work. How bad's that? Danny went to bed a while ago, but I didn't realise how late it was. So uh, I should probably head to bed. So this is the end of today's video guys. Uh, Twitter links are in the description as usual. Comment, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And other than that guys, thank you very much for watching. As usual, we'll see you tomorrow.